Hello, you're looking at my Apple IIGS, which is a ROM 3 version, and it has a little issue. The issue is, if you look at it here, control panels, I just turned it on 45 seconds ago. The CMOS battery is dead. Now the ROM 3 is a little different than the original ROM 0 and ROM 1 machines, where it does use a one-third, or sorry, one-half AA 3.6 volt with the battery. Now I am going to change this and in a moment I'll show you how. Now the reason I really uh, decided to do this was because I went to one of the local radio shacks that was closing and instead of these batteries being $9.99, which they normally were there, this was $2. So that was even cheaper than I could get the name brand battery at on eBay. And then this is, you know, this is your standard Apple IIGS keyboard, a standard Apple IIGS. A monitor is not a standard Apple monitor. I have it running in RGB mode into a Sony professional HR Trinitron monitor. Um, lighten it back up there. But I'll show you how you change the batteries on a ROM 3 2G. First thing you have to do is, of course, turn off the power. You don't want to have power applied to the computer when you're messing around inside of it. And you'll see briefly that you couldn't do this anyway in a 2GS because of where the battery is. Then unplug the power supply. And then lift this little tab here. And I'm going to try to do this one-handed. And I probably can't because I don't have fingernails. Let's see if I can do it with this one. Nope. I'm going to have to pause it. After the power supply is lifted up, you see the power lead right there. You see the underside of the motherboard and the little battery holder right there. So we will change the battery right now. Probably also can't remove that. Well, yeah, that I can remove. Sorry about the correct lighting. I don't have an overhead light here. Now, let's see. Hmm. Now, let's see if I can open the pack with one hand. <laughs> I know. It's kind of crappy. Positive. Positive. And that is all to changing an Apple IIGS battery. Now we will take, I can put back the uh, steady power supply with one hand. And I'll see if I can do the top with one hand. I might be able to. ADB cable, so don't lose that. And we're gonna open the keyboard. I know, lots of moving around. Should have just edited this out, but I'm not going to. And power oh, on. Except I forgot to plug the PC in, the CPU in. <laughs> All right, so just got the battery installed. I couldn't really uh, grab the power cord while it was down there because the power cord had dropped behind the computer. So, I'll save that. As you can see, got the correct time. Although it is only, you know, two digit year. And this is my favorite setup for the 2GS, always has been the dark blue with the white writing so has been ever since I've had a 2GS when I was in fourth grade so oh and you know this one does have a RAM card in it so it does have 
more than a normal one mega of RAM. And then I do have, I might as well give a quick tour of it. You know, dual floppy drives. Yes, I have an FDHD, although I do not have an FDHD card. And good old image writer too. And an Apple SCSI hard drive, which I've yet to get working in that power center. Standard Apple 2GS keyboard and standard Apple 2GS mouse. Get that out of here. And a you know, quick tour of my 2GS. Oh, and some of the goodies there with it. Some software I have. And just for grins, a nice little 77 inch TV, which I've never even powered on. That's where my 2GS and changing the battery.